Well, hello. This is Jeff with Final Boss. Um, I'm going to do a little cooking stream today, uh, among other things. I'm going to make sure this thing sounds mm -hmm. normal. I'm going to make sure this thing sounds mm -hmm. normal. Things. Delightful. Okay, so don't leave that up. Uh, and I should be good to go. I did, I think. I'll refresh. Yes. It's a long title, but it's accurate. Um, so I'm going to use two cameras, one so I can walk around and show you guys what I'm cooking, and one that's just going to uh, be on the kitchen where a man belongs. Sorry. And also one that I can turn so you can see Fox every now and then, her sultry attitude. Um, so today we're going to make creme brulee and meringue cookies and uh, cordials. So we have a full day ahead. So much hours of exciting streaming content, one would hope. Oh, yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah, but this will eventually be pointing more like that. Maybe I can even set that up now. Okay. So to start off, we will get the uh, recipe pulled up. I frankly don't remember. Um, uh, I think it's about a quart of heavy cream, uh, and we're going to be doing some, yeah, some of the basic stuff. So I'm going to start preheating the oven. I'm going to make sure my ramkins are nice and clean. Uh, so I got these guys here. So, Kimberly ramkins. Uh, I think these should be pretty clean. Oh, and just pack them. What do you think? Should I give this a rinse or? Yeah, they're pretty good. The, you don't want them to get wet. It's kind of they're a little dusty. Let's do a little towel dry. So you don't want a lot of water in your creme brulee, or else it kills your custard. Um, but uh, I will just kind of towel them off just like this. So these are the creme brulee ramekins where that is going to end up. Um, once we're done, so I'll stack these over here in the meantime. No, I'm not going to use a microwave here. Pardon me? Oh, yeah, just go ahead and put your headphones on, yeah? Yeah, Fox is working over there doing her grad school work, so she's being disciplined as always. Unlike me, where I should be writing, but I'm not. Because <laughs> uh, I feel like, you know, it's it's good for uh, Esla. Yeah, making some creme brulee here. So we're just getting started. We're just getting started, guys. So patience, patience. We've got a nice uh, journey towards creme brulee. So these will be where it goes. So have you all had creme brulee before? Big fans. Is that? Bonjour, français. How's it going? Seems like a lot of folks are joining on Periscope. Hello. Um, we'll be getting started once I kind of clean these puppies out. Yeah, that's not too bad. I'll just kind of clean up some of my general kitchen mess. And uh, the, kind, the kind fox has volunteered to clean up after. So I'm very fortunate and thankful for that. I do have vanilla extract. I do have vanilla extract. Ooh, I hope I do. Oof, if I don't, that'd be sad. But I have vanilla beans, so we'll see what happens. Oh, hello, foxy lady. Hi. Oh, oh, the last piece for my bed. Bone found it. Oh, Put it in here. Oh, yay. So this was supposed to go in my bed. I'm not going to lose it. <laughs> I was like, what is it doing here? Oh, that's fantastic. Feel a little safer? I feel just a little safer. So when I was reconstructing my bed, uh, when I moved recently to this new gorgeous apartment, um, a piece was missing, a screw, and, you know. Basically, you're saying you're a few screws short. I'm a few screws short of a popsicle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of a popsicle. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I got eight ramkins. I probably got some other cups just in case. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the creme brulee. 
so we are going to use Alton Brown's recipe from Good Eats. So it's just a quarter heavy cream, put in a saucepan, kind of heat it up. Let me go ahead and preheat the oven to 350. So that's heating up. Um, a little clean off here. All right. Fox does indeed like creme brulee. Okay, so we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and get a saucepan. This baby right here. I'm gonna fill this up with um, with some heavy cream and a vanilla. So small mint. Let me put that next to me. Put that one there. Up. Um. Heavy whipping cream. Stuff of champions right here, folks. Stuff of champions. Se ha unido. ¿Cómo está? Cool. So, step one, throw the cap on the ground. Uh, and then we're going to start getting the, uh, the cream and stuff ready. I'm going to actually turn this off just a hot minute. Well, do a quick review. It's always good to read through the recipe once, especially if it's a big thing uh, as complicado como creme brulee. Um, one quart heavy cream, one vanilla bean that's split and scraped, one cup vanilla sugar divided, six large egg yolks, two quarts of hot water, medium saucepan, it's over high heat. Uh, move the heat and let it sit for 15 minutes. Half cup of sugar and egg yolks until well blended. So it's light in color. Okay, temper, put in the ramekins. All right, pretty simple. I still remember, I think, how to make this. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do a few things that I'll show you guys. One is how to strip a vanilla bean. We'll let this thing go ahead and put the quarter cream in here. So that is just heavy cream going in. Looks pretty amazing. Um, so that's a quart heavy cream. Yep. One quart. Step one. Um, okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to chop up this vanilla bean. And so this is going to go ahead and toss this baby. cutting board and vanilla beans. So, vanilla beans right here. Got these last night from a nice little place nearby. Uh, so, these are the beans. Um, I wish I could bring the camera over so you guys could actually see what's going on. I think I might be able to do that as long as the stove's not turned on. That'd be a great way to kill camera. Um, let's see if I can do this here. This might be more complicated than I thought. All right. Let's see if that works. Okay, cool. Sort of. Um, I'll tilt this down. Uh, so we're gonna get a knife. Then we're gonna take the bean. We're gonna split it down the middle and scrape it open. Out. Get the top in here. Yeah, sorry if the camera setup is a little weird. Unfortunately, my kitchen is tiny and this does not have that many loft. So I'm kind of splitting it along the inside of the bean, trying not to cut all the way through, but just one side. So using the back of the knife there. We're going to actually do something similar for the meringue cookies, which is always really good. Mm. All right, so when you start splitting it open, there you go. All those little black seeds. You want as many of those as possible. That is where that flavor is. So that's what we want. So we're going to go ahead and scrape down this bean. Look at that. 
all those seeds. I put them in the milk, put in the heavy cream. All right. We need another scrape of this guy. We really want to get all that stuff out. Yeah, I see there's another good bit right there. Yeah, I'll just put that in. All right. So then lastly, dump this in the cream. So lastly, take the bean, throw it in the saucepan, and then we're going to start the cooking process for that. So, put this right here. Uh, so you guys can see the saucepan from a distance, sadly, it's not going to be super up close. But, stream froze, works after reloading, okay, good to know, good to know, of course stream. What's up 1010, I did not sadly um, read characters at that time, but well, um, cool, creme brulee is amazing, yes. How's it going, JK Lina, JK Lina, however that is properly pronounced. Alright, step two. Heating up the cream. And then we're gonna, while that's going, uh, and we're stirring it relatively regularly, um, keep things kind of clean here. So this will start heating up and get a nice low heat. Uh, so just getting all those vanilla seeds and stuff in there mixed up. The vanilla beans in there, so we're really just trying to pull that flavor out. Pull that flavor out of that bean. And that is a lot of good flavor, so we're going to kind of let that slowly heat up. And then in the meantime, we're going to. What are you doing, Fox? Videoing you. There's, a, there's a, another final boss editor over there. She's doing homework right now. But, uh, but yeah, also enjoying this awesome day in our cozy little spot. So, go her. I feel like I should be doing work right now, but I'm choosing not to because um, okay, I'm a slacker. Finals, homework. Xenon, how's it going? Finals, homework. This is blasphemy! I know, there's no writing today. Later. Um, yeah, but maybe later. I think while the creme brulee cooks, we can take a writing break. Which is the most fun. Also, let me know if you can hear okay. I'm talking loud, but you know. Uh, anyways, so this is slowly heating up, and we're gonna get those egg yolks going. So we're gonna get six egg yolks in a big bowl. Big bowl. Oh my God. You can hear crashing sounds. Momentarily. Control. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Everything is under control. I have three ideas. Don't know which one writes first. Sounds good. What are the ideas? Feel free to share. This is still in its heart, an editing and writing stream, even though we're cooking today. Um, so feel free to share your writing ideas. If anybody else is a writer of fiction, let me know. Yeah. Um, you know, so this is, I feel like cooking does count because it exercises all of our creative talents as well as writing, so I'm, uh, even though I'm kind of breaking the boundaries of normal final boss today, um, I figured it'd be pretty fun. Pretty fun to do some cooking. Because then while I write, I can have some delicious, uh, I suppose that pumpkin doesn't wash that. Uh, make sure that all the stuff's out of there. That's always a great choice. The laptops are happiest when you water them. Just like plants, you need to always water your laptops. It's very important. So we're just kind of keeping that going, that really nice cream. Uh, letting that get the flavor of the vanilla bean coming out there. Uh, you can also add, so it's very common to add other flavor elements into, uh, like, we'll pull from my spoon here. Just get the plate. 
it's not hot. Um, but yeah, so very common to. Uh, okay, let me see. The plot sums up is if what if some random insect arachnid gets turned into a human with magical powers? Trial Batman come back from the watery underground after hundreds of millions of years of attack. Only well, discovered that the humans took over. It's actually pretty good. Sci-fi is fun. I'm a big, you know, I mean, I guess that makes sense because what I write on this channel normally and what I sometimes edit a lot of, as it turns out, is sci-fi. Um, because I feel like that's a very fun creative world to play in is, is sci-fi. Uh, okay, so there's a flyware I can put away for now. Okay. Um, like number three, two. I, yeah, I think I liked the Trilobite Men one a lot when they discovered that after they emerged from the underground, they discovered that they've actually not taken over as they thought. That's kind of always a fun. Because it creates fish out of water stories, which always have a lot of baked in conflicts. Because if the world is different than so and so always thought, um, you know, that always kind of gets a reader leaning forward to some degree, which is the key. Yeah, it smells good. Now, on the other side, while this while the cream heats up and it keeps turning that, is we go ahead and get eight, or sorry, six egg yolks, put the whites somewhere for later, which we're going to make meringues out of. And uh, so, yeah, I'll turn this over a little bit this way so you guys can see what's going on. Okay. So. I want to get a small bowl, so I don't need this yet. Actually, I do. Kind of turner, knife, this over here. That goes here. Um, I always like to separate the eggs in here, so I don't get a bunch. So I always like to separate the eggs first. It's always very helpful, rather than putting them straight into your thing, wherever that is, because you don't want to keep that stirring nice and low just warm it up and then let that cool once it gets to a boil which may not which may be a while I have it turned pretty low also if you guys cannot hear too well feel free to just shout and holler and I can talk louder I can always talk louder you can ask poor Danielle Deal. Did not know what that means, but absolutely. Oh, shit. Oh, well. That's why we have the catching rolls, because you don't want the yolk, or you don't want the white. The whites and yolks not to be separated. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see if I can scoop this thing out here. There we go. Little ninja move. Scoop out the yolks. Get little membranes off. All right. Yolk one. Success. I will change the camera angle so you guys can see the yolk process here in just a hot minute. One hot minute. All right. There we go. So, yolk goes in the big bowl over here. Oop, ready. Uh, and then the whites, I'm gonna kinda clean out some of this gunk, like the membranes out of the whites so that I don't have to screw with it later. Clean the yolk. Oven is preheated. Cool. So one egg down. Um, I'm actually gonna get another bowl for my whites, so I don't have to. Well, actually, I think I'm good. I'm not gonna risk it. Set 
chase. Oh, every time. These jumbo eggs do not split evenly, sadly. I have to dump that one. Keep them separate. Okay, so that's one. Yeah, I'll do the top first. Pass them along. Uh -uh. I think the yolk split, so I'm gonna pull that out, put it in here. All that done. So two from my whites into one. Get this little dude out. Oh, whatever, it won't make too much of a difference. Are you a cook chef? I uh, I'm a normal cook, I'm not a chef by any means. As they say, uh, cooks follow instructions, chefs make up recipes. I follow instructions in my cooking. Uh, much, very much so. Um, so over here, making uh, cream. That's starting to get warm. Okay. Awesome. Mm. That is also tasting amazing. So we got two so far. We need to do, I think, four more. Um, yeah, four more. All right. So whoop, get the whites out. Pass that yolk around a little bit. Get all that junk out. All right, and then the yolk splits. I think I'll be here. Okay. That's one more. Put the whites in here. Clean those all out later. You can see what we're kind of doing here is just in case we lose an egg or it splits, we don't have to do them all over again. So three more to go. Passing that yolk along here. All right. Okay. All right. I think it's just starting to split. Four. Amazing. How to do this right? It's true. I'm assuming this means make amazing creme brulee, but yes, that's how you do it right, I hope. Uh, two more eggs to go. Uh, you want to keep my creme getting cooked here. If you neighbors are going to come over in a little bit, uh, and then actually enjoy the fruits of these labors, I hope. Nice little setup. And these jumbo eggs are in fact jumbo. Um, all right, one more egg to separate here, and then we are on our road to victory. Come on. All right, whatever. All right, egg split, yolk splits. We dump it. One more egg to go. Yes, indeed. How to do this right. So how about you all? Are you all cooks? Do you guys like cooking? Um, have you always just enjoyed going to restaurants? That's also a very fine, uh, it's a very okay excuse to not cook because if you're like, you know what? I just like letting someone else handle all the BS. I sometimes wonder why I don't do the same. I'm sure my, uh, my dear lady friend over there also wonders similar things. She's studying for pharmacy school over in the corner over there. We can pan over in a little bit once I finish separating this egg. Come on. Let's get all this crap out of here. All right. 
yolks are ready. So then now what we do is after the yolks are ready, we start um, put all my whites in one place and pop this in the fridge or some wrap over it. So later we're going to take the egg whites and we're going to make meringue cookies out of it. So the nice thing about eggs is that, you know, and French cooking is that if you uh, doing something with egg yolks, you can also probably figure out something to do with egg whites. So with six eggs, we're going to make a lot of desserts, which is actually okay because they're not that unhealthy. Uh, just a little bit of sugar on top is the only, um, the only catch there. Let's go ahead and put these in the fridge. Okay. All right, stir this up some more. It's starting to eat. Um, so once the cream starts getting that film on top, which I can show you guys here. So the cream is starting to kind of get that film on top. We're seeing the, the vanilla start to break down more. Um, this is getting just about ready. I'm going to look for some bubbles to form on the sides before I, before I take it off the heat, but it's starting to steam. Um, yeah, it's just about ready. It's just, and you can see that vanilla bean we put in there earlier. So what you can do with this used vanilla bean is you can take it out and put it in a bowl of sugar. Uh, and then that makes, um, what you call vanilla sugar, which I guess is pretty obvious at that point. Um, but yeah, so you can make some vanilla sugar, which is this really nice flavored sugar. So it's looking pretty close. You can see those little black vanilla beans in there. Looking pretty close to getting done there. All right. Um, so, uh, that's kind of getting close to boiling. I might actually get a normal spoon. Um, and then what we want to do with the yolks is, is beat them just with um, beat in some sugar, just to the point of them starting to, to break a little bit. So I'll bring this over here so you guys can see. So we're just going to beat these yolks up. So then we got our nice little yolk goo. And then we start beating in sugar, which um, I'm going to give another spoon as well. Thanks. Um, so that is getting just about finished. Uh, so I'm going to check my recipe again. And uh, here we go. One cup vanilla sugar. So I think we do a half cup into the yolks. Yep. Until it starts to lighten in color. Um, yes, sir. So here's our cup of sugar. Sugar is uh, nearby up here. This organized stuff is so great. Uh, ingredients. <laughs> I love on the sugar box. It just says ingredients, sugar. It's true. <laughs> They're not wrong. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's just a, a testament to its purity. But all right. Pretty close, it's getting very steamy. Um, not to boil that in just a minute, but first we're gonna get a half cup of sugar. All right. Let me know if you see my cream boiling over behind me. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's right about right there. I need to get like a sugar thing. Keep my cream nice and stirred up. Yeah. Let that cool for a few minutes once we're done. All right, and with the yolks, which I don't know if you guys can see, I want to make sure I'm putting this in the right direction. Uh, with the yolks, we're going to add a little bit of sugar here. 
I'm going to start whipping it in bits and bits at a time here. So we're going to add some sugar, put this down so you can actually see, start whipping that in. It's going to start getting lighter in color. things ready to become a custard. So we're just kind of blending in the sugar a step at a time here. Alright. Another big old chunk of that. Almost done. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking at right there. All right, turn this up just a little bit. Get this up to a boil, just short of a boil with my cream. So I'm still trying to wash my cream back here. So that's heavy whipping cream with the vanilla bean in there and boiling. So that is going to get over a boil in just about a minute. Um, so I'm going to be watching it while I'm whipping this. So you don't want to over whip your yolks, which we'll get, you'll see that. Um, so you kind of want them to be a nice little light yellow. So we're just about there. That's kind of the color you're looking for. Right. All right, so that's ready to go. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the hot cream into the um, into the yolks, hopefully without scrambling it, um, which is kind of the goal because if you uh, if you scramble it it will taste really funky, like scrambled eggs. You don't want that in creme brulee, you want it to be super smooth. So we're going to take this uh, milk off once it kind of finishes boiling and let it cool for a few minutes. Uh, we start queuing up the meringue cookies, or we can even do the cordials if uh, that girl's ready. So my, my, cordial, my cordial buddy over there is Danielle. Actually, we may do the cordials next um, while the cream cools off. So what cordials are is an infusion of um, it's an infusion of um, vodka or a strong spirit with fruits and other flavored elements. You can even make like sugar and cream cordials, which are also very common, sort of like Bailey's and Irish cream. Um, but yeah, that's kind of one of the second items on the menu for today. And I think for dinner, we're just going to eat McDonald's, but you know, for dessert, we're having this creme brulee amazingness. Um, yeah, so we're going with that just kind of. We're looking for these bubbles to start forming on the outside, really telling us it is just short of a boil. Um, just change that. Just a little bit more. Keep it going. Yeah, needs a little bit. But you can see now that the vanilla beans that were once kind of in these little clumps are starting to kind of spread around a lot more now that the water is heating up to a much higher temperature. I don't know if I have a sieve, but that's another way, let's say you accidentally scramble some of your egg yolks. When you um, make creme brulee, you can use a sieve to get it out. You can, uh, if you, so what you usually want to do is you want to temper it, which is to put a few drops, like, you know, almost a spoonful of the hot cream in your yolks to raise their temperature without cooking them, uh, because you want the oven to cook them evenly. Uh, rather than the cream, just like flash cook them, which will uh, scramble them. So we'll see here how this is looking. It's getting there. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna get some stuff on the side. Yes, let that, let that cool. Yeah. So you really start seeing those vanilla beans and the bean pod just kind of get diffused a lot more. Uh, a few kind of lumpy lumps in there. Nothing bad though. Yeah, there it goes. 
looking for these little bubbles to start forming and that's it right there that's boiling all right we take it immediately immediately off the heat start stirring it a lot faster oh wow okay, okay. not too bad so yeah once it gets to a boil you take that thing off the heat sorry i'm pointing in the wrong direction um i'm gonna catch up with the uh chat in a second but we really just want to let this cool down now without cooking <laughs> Yeah. Vanilla cream. Uh, that's how you do it. Right when it gets boiling, just pull out Then y'all. Um, also, once, as this is cooling, if you want right now, we can make our first cordial of the day. You have a few minutes? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to let this cool down for 15 minutes, and then me and that beautiful girl over there are going to make a cordial. Um, so yeah, the creme brulee is, uh, is cooling, be careful the stove is really hot. A lot of hot stuff by the toaster oven here. All right. Yeah, I might want to turn the fan on. Or maybe we have that big fan on and then maybe we open the door. I'm going to do that just to get some air in here. Sweating like a pig. Sweating like a pig. Disgusting pig. Okay, so we got our yolks, we got our um, whites in the fridge for later, we got our cream cooking and cooling on the stove, so in the meantime what we're going to do, cordial? I know, cordials are pretty good. So one of the uh, cordial recipes is a uh, pretty much a half liter of vodka, um, some prickly pear, and some other flavoring elements that we choose. Mm -hmm. So um, let's go ahead and put these yolks. I know it's hot in here, baby. <laughs> it is hot in here. So we're going to use um, this for our cutting and our cordial making over here. Because uh, we're going to probably pause about halfway through once 15 minutes go by at uh, 4.45. Um, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. Boss. Actually, I'll just keep it over here. <laughs> Too lazy. I will put the eggs in the fridge, so sure things are done. We're done with these. Oh, you got a whole thing of 1% in there, Chase. There, Chase. Yeah. So our nice new cutting board. Um, so what we'll do here is we're going to start chopping up these things. So I'm going to tilt the camera this way a little bit. I'm going to bring this one down. Ooh. He's putting Russian in there, Xenon. Xenon typing. Oh. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, so what we're going to get is, uh, I think it's like Xenon. I thought maybe somebody else said something. Oh, yeah. Let me catch up. I'm a little bit behind on chat. Vodka? Uh oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cordial vodka? This is better. What is the Arabic doing here? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Periscope. I, I think that's uh, Periscope folks tuning in. Brian can't upload all the live stream action on lock. <laughs> Yeah, I know. What's up, Brian Kent? How's it going? I know we are on. Uh, we use Restream, which is so easy. You just do Restream. You send a one encoder, and it chops it up. So fun for us because we can talk with more people, and it actually integrates all the chat. This so it's is really more interesting than writing for most people. Yeah, this is more of a uh, broad audience. Thought vodka. It's a distilled beverage coming from many cultural influences. And it is. So what we're doing is actually adding yeah. in uh, adding impurities. So if you grab one of those awesome mason jars, we can get this process started. I got him these mason jars for his birthday. Yes, so we're using Absolute Vodka. Nice, pure, clean spirit. They did not, uh, they did not sponsor this. Yet. They did not sponsor this. We're using some Absolute. But Absolute, go ahead and sponsor us if you feel uh, Feel free, free, yeah. If you want to sponsor us, um, feel free to just fill up that tip jar with your millions of Absolute Dollar. Uh, so we absolute have vodka this money. lovely... Um, Again, Ball can also sponsor us. Yeah, Ball Mason Ball Jars. Mason jars. Uh, Oh, it's a 700 milliliter. Okay. My contacts and my glasses are here. Yeah, yeah. Here. Um, cool. 
Uh, so I'm pulling up my perfectly pair cordial recipe because it's been a little bit uh, like this for cordial. I'm going to find the right recipe that I looked at in the store because <laughs> I forgot. Uh, I think it's about yeah, this thing is cool. So I want to keep the string, don't want that to come to form too much. That's the creme brulee bits. Um, so, yeah, it's it's all different. So I think we pretty much just improvise. But it's pretty much about um, six to a half liter. See you later, Brian Kent. See you in a few. Bye. So yeah, so we'll go ahead and so I think we can be as complicated or as simple as we want to be. Cool. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, clean the quick pairs. Um, so those are the, the ones over there. Um, so these are going to be um, very sweet kind of fruity. So we also brought some other like raspberries and stuff to put in there. Um, so we got a uh, two cups. What is it? Three Four. cups. 800. Yeah. So we'll do 500 here. Okay. Um, 500 mils of vodka. And then we'll do the rest of fruit. Can I check those? Yeah, yeah, you can. I think we're going to use like probably five. Oh, well, yeah. But I got six just in case we don't clean one correctly. All right. Oh, this one's squishy. Yes. Oh, yeah, exactly. So that's why we got six. Um, cool. cool. So we'll start uh, cleaning these. See you in a sec, VR, uh, Xenon. So we'll start cleaning these guys. So. Um, Yeah, I know. I've never, ever seen this before. Interesting. There's your prickly pear. Oh, yeah. There we go. Clean the bottom off a little bit more. You really want to get as much of the skin off and even the subskin off as possible uh, because you don't want that. Uh, stuff. So where did that mason jar go? So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll quarter these up okay. and then we'll put the bits in there. Yeah, it's very, very sweet. Make sure you put the vodka in first. Yeah. Okay. I want to measure that. Cool. Good call. So we'll do, um, because That's once we start getting fruit in there, it's going to look different yeah. proportionally. So go ahead and do it to the 500 mark. The science prickly pear cactus. Um, <laughs> yeah. So 500 is right between 400 and 600, babe. So, you know, if you're a man, you have to explain things, really obvious things, especially to your significant other. Especially when she's a chemist for a living. What's up, Xenon? Welcome back. Beautiful. Beautiful. So go ahead and transfer number one in there, and then we will go ahead and shoot for five of these. And then we'll get some other flavoring on this. We're going to try a little bite, too, just so we know what kind of flavors we're working with, because we always want to taste first. So let's just cut this up. There's going to be really big seeds in there, so be ready to crunch on something. Oh. Take a little taste of that. Mm. Oh, it's kind of like watermelon. Mm-hmm. It's good. Very light. Right there, yeah. Refreshing. You can probably put an apple in there. Yeah, apple some slice. Citrus maybe? Yeah, some citrus. We got some limes. Cool. 
Mansplaining. One of the worst words ever invented. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to drink some water while I'm here. All right. All right. Tighten these guys up. Um, yeah. Uh-oh. Cyber, you're getting banned. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, at least you're, you know, <laughs> looking at a writing stream. Yeah. You know, grammar is always helpful. Uh, anyways, <laughs> off we go. But, uh, uh, but yeah, so you want to make sure you don't get any of the green in there because that is where those very sharp little things are. I'm going to get back to the... Oh, uh, restream? Oh, OBS. Uh, if you click on the little oh, thing on the bottom. So we can go ahead and peel this puppy open. Here, here, here. Get it. And, you know, this is what's inside all those prickly pears you see out there. These little fruits. I see a lot of things. You see a lot of prickly pears? No. <laughs> I was like, I guess. Maybe in Vallejo. I don't know. Let's do that. So we're going to do five of these, and we're just going to dice them up. Put them in the vodka. And we can do um, some, what other spices do we want to go with this flavor? What do you think? Spices? Or just like, uh, we can put some spice in there. We can put, you know, uh, whatever. We can put some of that almond flavor. We can put, so we do like an eighth. I think about the proportion for this would be an eighth teaspoon of almond extract. If you want some of that almond flavor, we can actually chop up um, some almonds or put some honey in there. Yeah. Even now. So cordials are very much an open book in terms of you just make whatever the hell you want and you let it sit for three weeks. <laughs> um, so they're great. Open. Yeah. Um, what kind of flavors do you feel like? What are what are what are flavors you enjoy? I like almonds. I like. Fruit. You can put a little bit of bourbon in there even and get some of that oaky flavor. Don't you don't have to mix spirits. That's not usually very common. You can always do it later too. Yeah. Let's do a normal one first. Um, we can do. I guess honey would be good. Maybe. Cool. Um, probably put some, cinnamon or something. Yeah, put some cinnamon in there. Yeah. Um, we can keep this really light. So cinnamon is more of a heavy spice. So if we want some like really nice, because this is going to be very like watermelony. Mm -hmm. So we can, I think like lime is a really good idea. Mm -hmm. We'll put some of the lime and zest in there. Uh, yeah, we'll put some raspberries. Yeah. We've got some raspberries. Do you have Periscope? I do. It's called, uh, the Periscope is Final Boss Edits. Um, so yeah, you, that, we do have a Periscope, Xenon. Yeah. Uh, now that Restream is working, I don't think it renders as well on Periscope, to be honest, um, just because they have usually the portrait view as opposed to the landscape. Um, but yeah, we are there. Whether or not it's going to be looking amazing is, you know, kind of debatable. Yeah. Remains to be seen, indeed. Oh, man. I've got a lot of. <laughs> I'll just dump some of that in there. So these are kind of a similar flavor to pomegranates, which is why I thought. Yeah. Thought so we could substitute a little bit less ripe. So you can see that skin oh, yeah. stick in there. So we're going to go ahead and get all that shite off. Nice little break from studying. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about what you've learned, Danielle. <laughs> I'm learning about methotrexate dosing. What is that? <laughs> a cancer drug. Cool. Healthy so you're learning how to arthritis. help heal cancer. Yeah, I'm learning how to dose it. Well, that's part of the healing that's process. Two different yeah. half lives. That was the bad one. Yeah. What do you think is the most important thing if someone is talking to their pharmacist? Ooh, this one is like super ripe. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like oozing. Look at that. Oh wow. Most important thing if somebody's talking to their pharmacist? Yeah. Um, always tell them what other drugs you're taking and what other supplements and over-the-counter stuff because people don't always think about vitamins and, you know, if they're taking, like, ginseng. That stuff can actually interact with things they're taking. Holy crap, really? Mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah. So if I'm taking, like, ginseng, I could potentially be at risk of something. Especially if you're taking, like, a blood thinner, like warfarin or something like that. Ginseng also thins your blood, so it could increase the effects. So it's not like a deal breaker, it's just good to know. So if something does happen, we can figure out what's going on faster. So if we already have that stuff, that information, we can warn you. And just be like, yo, heads up if you start seeing some weird stuff happen. Like bleeding, or like maybe, you know, stop taking it. Because often you don't tell your doctor that. So 
it's good for us to know because we give you your medications. That's number one thing. Lists. Have lists of everything you take, especially if you're old, because you usually take like a million things. Boom, there we go. Look at that. That's, uh, you go ahead and show it to the camera, bub. Oh, this? The jar. This is our jar. That is the first phase. Da -da -da -da. I'm going to hold it up in the light, you guys can see. And then we can put it's it out cool. like on top of one of the cabinets and it'll look cool. Heck yeah, decoration. Yeah, exactly. So that's uh, going to be try. using uh, spirits like that. Okay, so it's 4.43, so we're probably just going to only have time for one cordial here. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we can take a break for another one as the creme brulee is fresh. Sweet. Um, so. Lime. Lime, we want. So we go honey. ahead and rinse this off very gently. Lime, honey. All right, perfect. There Thank you. We want, yeah, we want, we want those ones. How yeah. those taste? We're good. Any other spices you think look good? Maybe a well, dash of almond. Only... Yeah, cinnamon's good. Passion, but that's the heavier one. So then we can we can put some cinnamon in there though. That's not a big deal. What else you want? This is our canvas. You know, I was thinking about saving the cinnamon flavors for the apple one. Yeah, I feel let's like save it. I'm gonna make an I apple can't cordial think of any next. Other spices. Um, what, what else do I got in there? Cumin, not the exact word. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> but, yeah, spices are usually heavier, this like mulling. This is a cactus pear. This is. This is a cactus pear. Yeah, that's absolutely right. They, the she's one. the brains. I'm the looks. That's I'm how it the works. smart one. All right. Um, we go with some berries too. Yeah, let's get some berries in there. We can take out some limes. I feel like that's going to be kind of overpowering as it is. Um, Do you some. want to cut up the berries? Um, yeah, I'm just going to slice them in half and then go in. Let's just do maybe like a cup's worth. Just do enough to fill her up. Um, cool. Honey? Yeah, maybe one more and we'll have little berries there. I think these are gonna come in really light. Yeah. This will be a nice little. Yeah, that'll be. This will be really sweet, kind of summer. Mm-hmm. All right. Put that out on the little porch. We don't want to leave them out in the sun. No, no, we'll drink it out on the oh, porch. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Fruit alcohol poison. Yes. Yep. There we go. Boom. Lid. All right. Any other flavoring elements we want? Maybe just a slice of apple just to give it that bite? Sure. Three of Smith and one blackberry. I was like doing little bits of tiny flavors. Yeah. Just because it always adds sure more you don't want you molasses think. in there? I mean, don't tempt me. <laughs> so I'm just going to this off real quick. Always want stuff nice and clean. Fruit, alcohol, poison. Boss's friend. Input on my ideas pronto. Uh, I did. I like this. I, um, I think the. This is boss's friend. Girlfriend. <laughs> Lady. Lady friend. Um, I liked the third one a lot. I don't know, Fox. Did you see them? You might need to repaste them, Xenon. You know? No, I didn't see them. I was studying. That's about as full as it gets. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not keen to dip it. Okay. One blackberry. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that's it. One last. Yeah, you're good to take those suckers out. I think that's maxed out. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna that? So just tighten that as hard as you can. And then go somewhere a little bit out in the open and then give it a good shake and I'll I'll uh I'll follow you. There she is. Alright, shake it up. <laughs> the skills. Alright. What are we doing here? So today we're doing, we just finished making a cordial, which we'll show you guys. And right now we're about to make the creme brulee. Let's take a quick look.
Back to work, and I'm right, back I'll to creme brulee. I'll drink some water, and then I'll get out of here. I'll be back. All right. Now, back to the business here. Oops. Sorry. Okay. It's just, like, bubbling. Oh, here it is. Thanks. Um, all right. So, yeah, so there's his ideas. Um, you might want to go to your... Do you have it pulled up, Fox? Go to what? So these, check out Xenon's ideas on yours and see which one you like. So the first one is there's a small four and three quarter in diameter planet object housing a civilization with many people on it. Main character finds it in the, in the middle of the forest. Um, cool. All right. Anyways, I'll let Fox give you feedback on those ideas while we get ready with. Um, More. Let's see. Um, I don't think I do, do I? Do I have a sieve? What? I have a sieve. Do you have filter? You always use cheese cloth. Cheese cloth, yeah. Yeah. All right. So this is the fun part about making the creme brulee, which is mixing the uh, yolks and the other stuff. Um, yeah, I like the last one. Yeah. yeah. So get these kind of remixed a little bit, nice till they're white. A little bit pale. Let me start bringing the milk in. Um, just bit by bit. Still pretty hot. I'm just going to do a little dash at first. Just a tiny bit. Let that temper the yolks. And just dashes at a time here. So you don't want to put all the hot milk into the yolks at once, or else you get scrambled yolks, which is not so good. So it's nice. It's very warm now. It's almost a hot. Um, but hopefully we haven't scrambled the egg yolks while we've transferred the milk in. Um, and let it cool a good bit as well. It still is quite warm. Yeah. Don't look like it doesn't look like I got any scrambles, which is good. That's nice stuff. Okay. All right. Time to start this thing in the oven. Wow. That is good. Uh, okay. enough pans, but I'm going to probably combine my uh, <laughs> my cast iron and another one to get rusty. I'll probably just use two of these. I wish I had a third. Do we have any more than these? Huh? Oh well. Um, all right. So Put a towel at the bottom of the pan so things don't slide around everywhere, so the ramekins don't run off. All right. Okay. Um, very important. <laughs> then I'm gonna heat up some baking water. Mm -hmm. 
What's that? Oh no. This is, looks pretty good though, right? The cordial? Alright. I guess I will not. Sounds like music indeed. Um, let's see. Say we need to I'm gonna warm up some water here, fill this puppy up. On YT Stream, YT Gaming, or YT Stream Now. I'm not sure. I think I do YT Stream Now. I'm kind of a YouTube noob. So I don't really have a uh, really well thought out strategy for it, to be frank. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to try to get all these ramkins to fit into these bowls, which is always hard. All right. So. Four. Yo, yo hablo un poco español, pero mi inglés es mejor. All right, so I'm gonna use this to clean. I'm gonna use my final boss editing blue mug as my last. Is it that hot? It was, but then I kind of got some stuff. Oh yeah, Kind of wasn't weak, you know, for a while. School is a thing of lameness for me. I'm way too cool for that. Yeah, solo hablo inglés. All right. I'm kind of curious to try my uh, the cactus liqueur. That's gonna be good. The tuna. All right. He's from the film and going to the relay. Oh man, I'm so sad. So sad. Who did? Oh my gosh. Wow, these guys are crazy. A few of our friends ran like a hundred something miles this weekend, which is something I choose to never do in my life. That's just not me. I like writing. Yeah, I'm not trying to prove anything, you know what I'm saying? I've got anything to prove with my fitness. Just like being healthy is all. Okay, so um, I need to get some warm water and start pouring it in here. So I'm gonna do about a cup of this. So I get the rankings ready over there behind me, as you can see, and then I'm gonna get another one of these pouring spouts to put the creme brulee actually in the pots. Um, so this is pretty nice, a little bit. A little bit warm, tepid. I'm just gonna fill this thing up. Trying to avoid getting it into the ramkins. That is the goal. You do not want your creme brulee with water in it. Goal like uh, prime directive is don't get water in your creme brulee ramkins. Prime directive, and then kill all the alien life you find. This is the secondary directive. Yeah, um, if you find any, because this is America. Oh yeah, this is what it's like being lady boss. Yep. Dealing with Foxy final boss's boss. corny jokes. Foxy lady boss. Foxy lady boss. Make sure that's good for that. I want to make sure this top bit's actually getting wet because I don't want to cook my towel either. That would be sad. How'd that happen? So you want to make sure that we get your towel that you're using to keep the creme brulee down is very much underwater. <laughs> or else you will have a very surprised cook. Very surprised chef. It's like, whoa, 
Why does my kitchen smell like burning towel? All right. I'm on about halfway up the ramkins. It's got a little bit of water in some of those, which we're going to clean out. Well, don't know what that means, but we're going to disable Periscope chat because that keeps happening. Uh, anyways. Water in those ramkins. So yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a little zoom view here and what we're doing. So we're trying to get that water line right to about halfway up the ramkins, which we are for most of them. A little bit low on this back side, so that's what we're filling up right now. Uh, so here we go. Alright. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna start filling up on this side here. A little bit more. Yes. Soon to be deactivated. Periscope. Um, let me move. Let me move one of these out. Make sure this is all the way. You want this towel in the water. Make sure that's all the way in there. All right, I think that's pretty good. That's your zoom view of how to fill these things up. Blocked as many as I could. We'll see what happens. That still works. All right. And we also have some raspberries for the creme brulee when it's done, which is also delightful. Okay, now to start putting the actual creme brulee into. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about filtering it. There's not much in here to fill. Little bits of stuff, but nothing crazy. Yeah, looks good. So, get my other pour and spout here. Gonna wipe that off. That is good. Uh, and then start pouring. Filling up the ramkins as much as you can. All right. really heavily filled because I just don't have enough room I think so I don't have enough ramkins really so I really need to keep these topped off take a place of the sink fill this up lay and then put this over here creme brulee in the in the in the raw That's the good good. Oh, it's okay if the creme brulee spills from the ramkins out, but it is less good if water goes in the ramkins or else you lose one. All right. Last kind of bowl here. That's it. That's all your creme brulee right there. The foxy lady is very excited, I believe. She's making, thanking her past self for having um, dealt with me all these years. Now she gets the benefits, which is creme brulee. If you put up with Final Boss's BS, you get rewarded with cooking delights. With delicious foods.
much water in this one. Ooh, bad. Oh, bad. Come here. So this is the price of overfilling is get too much water in there. Sadly, one of them got sabotaged <coughs> by me. <coughs> sabotaged my own crumb brulee. How sad. Um, but what I can do is I can soak up some of this water and get it out. Uh, let me drain some of this out. Um, Some bailing water out of my crumbly jar. That's good though. Got to do it. Better that than a ruined one. Um, than screwing the whole entire batch over. All right. Now I'm gonna really clean this ramping out. Put it back into use. And the fox is even happier because she knows that there's yummy treats coming her way. She's shaking with joy as she studies. She's actually not, she's just studying, but we can pretend. Keep the rest in there. All right, that's the creme brulee. Now this goes in the oven. Very carefully. Place the creme brulees in the very hot oven. And shut the door. That's that. They're in. Done. So now we're gonna make meringues. Yay! Now what? Now we're gonna make meringue cookies. So I'm gonna make sure that I am cooking these for the um, right amount of time. So we can see baking for the company set to the trembling center at 40 to 45 minutes. So 45 minutes. So we actually got a little bit of time so we can make, uh, we can do some writing, which we might do right now. And then once the creme brulee is out of the oven, then we can make, excuse me, the meringues. Okay. Whew. I'm going to do a little bit of a thing up here. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> yes, I'm sure. Okay. Whew. All right, stage one is complete. Um, so yeah, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and switch to writing for a little bit, or make another cordial. What do you think? All right. Switching to writing for a few minutes, and then we'll be back on creme brulee duty in a little while.